uh, I got a new product that I thought I would try out for this vacuum channel. Since the majority of you are from the vacuum videos of this channel, I figured why not try out something new? And that might be a pretty cool product. So what this is, it's, it's a Mighty Skin is what it's called. It's basically a vinyl decal that sticks to your robot vacuum. And this one's actually for the i7 Plus. So it's got the vacuum skin and the self-empty bin skin. Uh, I went with this wood grain look just to be a little bit different. They have a ton of different colors on their site. Um, some of them are a little, just a little bit too out there for me. Uh, just blotchy colors here and there, really bright. Uh, this is the more subtle look for this uh, robot vacuum. So I figured let's give this a shot. Um, I did email them and see if they would send me one to review, but they, they said they don't do that. So I'm just trying this from Amazon. So I have no affiliation with them or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to be 100% honest, let you know if this is going to be a good product, how hard it is to install. And then I'll show you how it looks at the end. Uh, if I don't like it, and if it's too difficult to install, um, it's going to go back to the company. I'll, I'll, I'll just send it back to Amazon. So I think some of it's going to be pretty easy to install, like probably even this big circle part. But some of these that are going to wrap around the whole entire, this is like for the front piece for down here. I think I have a feeling that's going to be pretty hard to install without it creasing and just messing up overall. But we'll find out together. Uh, hopefully it goes on really easily and just makes it look cool. Um, like I said, I, I pro if, if I didn't have this robot vacuum channel on here, I, I probably wouldn't have even looked at this thing. I'm only really doing it for you guys and this channel. Uh, just to show you guys what's out there. And hopefully, hopefully this looks really good and I can recommend it. If not, like I said, I'm going to be honest and I'll tell you that it's a piece of junk. So, let's get started. This is the i7+. Plus. The, the uh, self-empty bin is down there, which we'll get to next. It's got another whole sheet of stickers. I already cleaned it off with some alcohol, so let's get started. Let's do, let's start with an easy piece. Looks like there's a piece back here just for the bin. Probably going to make a mess. I don't know why there's some in there, but it's just for this part here. And we're just going to peel that off and start with that. As you can see, it's just a base of vinyl sheet sticker like you would put on your car or your cell phone. So hopefully we'll see if our lines are really good, if everything matches up like it should. Um, yeah, we'll find out. So yeah, even with a small piece, I think this is gonna be a difficult install. All right, there's the first piece that went on nice and smooth. It's pretty much cut perfectly to the size of this black plastic. That's good. That's how, oops, made a mess. That's how that looks already. And we'll see at the end if there's many air bubbles as well. Little piece right here for this push button, which removes the dirt bin. Let's throw that on there. All right, so we got probably the two easiest pieces on, which already gives it a kind of a cool look. Let's go ahead and do what probably is gonna be one of the toughest pieces to line up perfectly, or it might be very easy, is this big top center piece. Make sure all the dust and stuff is off. Messed up. This is going to be difficult because there's no structure in the middle to hold it from flopping around. We'll also see if you make a mistake if this thing stretches. See already, already it's being a pain.
Another good question this is going to have over the months is if a little bit, say you mess, mess up a corner a little bit and it peels up a little bit, is all the dirt and dust of this thing driving around and blowing out the exhaust basically. Is a little bit of dust going to get underneath that spot that's peeled up and make everything peel? So that'd be a good question too. That actually went on pretty good. That wasn't too bad at all. And it already looks it already looks much cooler if you ask me. So we even have a spot to cover up this Roomba. So we're gonna do that. So far the cuts are very good on this. Everything lines up like perfectly pretty much. There's even a little dot for up here, a little sticker for the right above the sensor. I think this is gonna look pretty cool when it's done actually. Like I said, a month from now, is it gonna hold up? I don't know, we'll find out. And now we got this big piece, which is gonna go up here. This one might be tricky, but it might, I don't know, let's find out. It looks like it'd be tricky, but they may have just have it cut so perfectly that it just falls right on. Yeah, okay. Another good thing I guess about this is if you do make a little mistake, you can just peel it right back and fix that mistake. Now here is this piece. All right, here's another good example. Going all the way around, and there's a good maybe one eighth of an inch that's overhanging. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip that just enough to make it cover. Um, otherwise, I guarantee you dirt and stuff will get under there. Not a big deal, just, just trim it. So, so far I think that's actually pretty cool. I like it. All right, let's get this big back piece, or this is the last front piece. So there's a piece that goes all the way around here as well. Now this one, saying they're all gonna be difficult and they're not actually that bad but I think this one might be <laughs> and I also have to figure out a way how to prop this up with the biggest longest piece yet so we're gonna probably gonna start actually on its side and move its way around Alright, so once again, that side is perfectly flush with the line, and then this side has about 
probably about one eighth of an inch as well, maybe a little bit bigger. So I guess, I guess the best bet would just be to trim off the edge again. I was gonna cut it here and then move it over, but I'm, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. So I'm gonna take off about a quarter of an inch here or so. Not bad, not bad. So far, so good. I think it's pretty cool looking. What do you guys think so far? I think that's, I think that's quite an improvement. Just a boring black robot to this. Uh, another thing I don't know if you noticed, but before I put this top piece on, there's a whole bunch of scratches on here. So now it looks like a brand new robot. So if you have a robot that has tons of scratches, this could be a cool little, cool little way to make it look better and hide your scratches. So I got to figure out what is this for. It could be another piece to the self-empty bin, or it might be for the dock. Just the regular i7 dock. Not sure. There's a slit here, so that's obviously for a light. Pretty sure this is going to go to a normal dock if you just have the i7, not the plus. I'll set that aside and I'll let you know if, if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But yeah, I, I think this is pretty damn cool. What do you guys think? I can think it definitely enhanced it. Let's see how it looks driving around. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I just hope it holds up. Pretty cool. I must say, I like it. And then that entire self emptying bin is going to be covered in it as well. There's the stickers for that. I'm going to do that in a separate video because uh, this, this took a little bit longer to put on than I thought. Um, so yeah, do me a favor, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. I'm going to be uploading uh, the next video shortly. And you want to be one of the first ones to see that because it looks pretty cool when it's all done. And then of course, in about three weeks to a month, I'll let you know how it's doing. If it's peeling off, if it gets scratched, etc. Anything that goes wrong with it. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Have an awesome day. Stay tuned for part two, where we finish it off. See ya.